No eggs, Kyle. What's going on guys? Today we are gonna show you guys how to pull. So if you're someone that's like a hard gainer or just struggling to put on weight, we're gonna show you some of the foods that we eat just to put on some size. Hopefully you guys put some of these tips to use. And let's jump into the video. What the? Oh dang, that's a lot. So you wanna get big, eh? Chances are you click this because you're someone that's either a hard gainer, uh, you're someone who wants to push it to the next level with the bulk, or you're just tired of being skinny and small. Bulking and whether you should bulk is very subjective and it really is an interpersonal decision. Once again, our rule of thumb is if you guys are over 15% body fat and not really a new lifter, maybe you should tone it down a bit before you start a big bulk. And once again, it's subjective. Some people can start a bulk at 18% and be okay depending on your needs, goals, time frame, but overall, that's a good rule of thumb. Hello? No, we're showing 10 Mac like tips on how to bulk. Dude, is that juice? Buddy, it's low cal. I don't want this crap. Okay, number one, liquids. One thing we want to make clear in this video is when we bulk, we like to say a dirtier bulk, we go about 75% clean, 25% dirty. We're not trying to come out here, say eat cake, McDonald's, you're going to gain weight, but that's not what you want and you're going to feel like crap. You want to make sure you're eating foods that actually complement your training. Now something like sugary drinks, I don't recommend in a bulk. I don't recommend them ever. They're filler calories, they're not really worth your time, and they're not gonna get you too far. So I'd really avoid the sugars, especially if you're having an insane amount of calories, like over 4,000 calories, sugars are gonna add up naturally as is, and you don't wanna end up a diabetic because you're trying to get swole. Okay guys, tip number two, snack smart. So this is something I do, especially at the end of the day when I have like 600 to 700 calories left. I usually come home, I'll have um, hummus, this is an edamame one, and you're getting like a bunch of chickpeas, it's nice and healthy, healthy fats, and they'll take either pitas, that's what Josh does, um, or Triscuits, this one is low sodium, and it's not like you're eating chips, like, and uh, it's really easy to go down, so that's what I'll do usually at the end of the night. Quick K calories, bro. Quick 1K calories. Well, Kyle watches a uh, next uh, top model. <laughs> Macro hack number three, guys, I cannot stress this anymore. A bulk is not a free-for-all. So if you're mowing down on like 10,000 milligrams of sodium and like 400 grams of sugar, number one, you're not gonna feel good at all. Number two, you're gonna like, your face is gonna blow up. I've seen it happen, it's happened to me. That their baby face, bro. <laughs> as well as uh, you're just gonna start to break out. So really focus on what you're actually putting into your body and don't let it become like a, you know what, six Whoppers tonight kind of thing and actually focus on the sodium and sugar. Like I cannot say that anymore. Adding on a bit, a lot of reason why people kind of stop their bulk is because they think their face looks chubbier, they're breaking out with acne, they feel greasy, and a big reason is because they're just filling themselves with crap. You do have to pay attention to micros on a bulk. A lot of people say you don't, but I think that's very important. I've seen people, I've had clients eating four to 5,000 calories. Meanwhile, their micros, they're like 50% the vitamin A, C, whatever. That's unacceptable, and especially when you're in a surplus, you should be in a surplus of your micros as well. Tip number four, guys, is to eat foods you like. So some people say you can only bulk with a select like list of foods. I really don't recommend that. Like if you're just eating chicken and rice all day, it's gonna be very hard, very fibrous. And you're gonna hate yourself for bulking, and that's when you're gonna say, "Oh, I actually can't gain weight. It's impossible." For me, I really like burgers, so I'll even still eat like a leaner beef burger, so I'm feeling good. I know it has great macros, and it's gonna complement my overall schema. But by eating that, instead of having one, I'll have like six. I'll make two, three patty thick burgers, down them, like put on all my favorite condiments and cheese, all that good stuff. And at the end of the day, that's like 1,500 to 2,000 calories that I can bury very easily, comfortably, and I actually enjoy the food I'm eating. It's not a chore, and it's easy for me to go up in weight that way. All right, this is a weirder tip for those of you that really struggle to get food down. So food volume and how big your stomach actually is an issue when you're bulking. But if you want some quick calories, every night I would just take down four tablespoons of this. That's a quick 160 calories and 18 healthy fats. This is avocado oil because I don't know where their normal oil is or whatever. But you can experiment with different kinds. You can even put them in smoothies. You get a little bit weird, but you can cook with them. But instituting some healthier oils is an awesome way to add some quick calories without taking a ton of volume in your stomach, especially if you're packing down four or 5,000 calories a day. Beauty. Yo, you got me? You got one? Yeah, so... 
me, something I've been doing a lot lately, especially when we go to Salas, instead of getting chicken, I've been having steak. And even at home, um, I'll have some like lean ground beef because there's just a lot more fat in it than chicken and it's just a lot more calorie dense. Still tastes great and uh, just really helps with the bulk. I, that's what I, when I was up like 4,500 calories in high school, I would just run this with uh, pasta every lunch and yeah. you just so many calories. Well, the thing is chicken's just protein too, right? Well, that's so, it. Besides it up. Number seven, easy way to actually stick to a bulk and get in a hefty amount of calories is every morning, get a staple, stay with it, especially a cleaner staple. So for me, I'll usually run about four packs of oatmeal, two soups of EHP isolate protein, then I'll put two to three tablespoons of peanut butter, put some honey on there, some cinnamon, chop up some apples, and we're quickly talking 1,500 calories down it goes down like butter and I feel amazing with it low sodium high protein good amount of healthy fats good amount of healthy starchy carbs and that's actually gonna really help with everything you have a nice mix of the complex from the oatmeal you have some honey it's gonna really start your day off with the bang and help you kind of pad those nutrients with some healthy foods so you're not running out and ordering two extra large pizzas hey I did that last week <laughs> Yeah, we're on. This is eight? Yeah. All right, eight. This one's gonna be really dense in philosophy and this one's going a little bit beyond the foods. But when you're bulking, like let's say me and I'm eating about 4,000 calories. A lot of people will say when you're cutting, you know, you work up your protein, when you're bulking, you can lower it a bit. Now this is where it gets a little funky. When I'm actually bulking, I'll have more protein than when I'm cutting. This is controversial, but I'll tell you why. So I can easily hit 200 grams of protein just from eat from like my breads and my extra remnants here and there, my couple soups of protein. But what you wanna ensure is that sometimes I'll up it and I'll go about 240 to 250 grams if I'm over 4,000 calories, because you need proteins that are actually rich with the nutrients you need, like leucines that come from lean meats and other healthy sources. You don't wanna just make sure you're getting it, like I said, two grams from bread or two grams from whatever may it be. You wanna actually make sure you're filling your body with leucine and a good amount of amino acids within your proteins. All right, number nine, to go against what I said when I was cutting, I said eat things with supplements and fiber. This is a double-edged sword. I love it, I have it. Within reason, if you have too much of this, you'll get way too much fiber. When you're in an excess of calories, once again, you're gonna to wanna to stay away from this stuff. If you guys go out and you have 100 grams of fiber in a day, you're gonna feel like death. So the way fiber works is your body actually can't pass it. And that's why it helps, it's like a diuretic and such. But at the same time, because your body can't pass it and it bonds with waters, it's gonna blow you up, make you feel full. You're gonna feel like you're 12 weeks pregnant when you're just trying to go out and lift. Especially if you're having 5,000 calories as is, you're already gonna be at super high levels of fiber, like 50, 60 grams, when I think the recommended amount is around 20 to 30 grams. That's what kind of the lifting recommendations are. The FDA is even lower. So that's something to keep in mind because a cup of this alone has 13 grams, and I can easily hit three, four cups of cereal, and I, if I'm having 40 grams of five, or plus my normal 60, I'm gonna wanna cry and die. And you don't wanna cry and die when you're bulking. You wanna make it so it's something you can do every day, not something where you're actually gonna wanna kill yourself from eating. Perfect, fruity cereal for a fruity man. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> but in all seriousness, guys, macro hack number 10, don't be afraid to have like, Foods more on the fun side. Like uh, this is, I don't have this one, but Fruit Loops is one of my absolute favorites. I'll have maybe a couple bowls at the end of the night. Fruity once again. <laughs> um, but you guys need to smash that like button if you like Fruit Loops. If we can get this to 300 likes, we'll do another one. We honestly have so many other bulking macro hacks on the top of our head. But like I said, guys, um, you're not competing or anything. Like. I mean, have fun with it, you know what I mean? You're balking, you're bro. Balking. Enjoy yeah, food. Time to get freaking huge, but also like live a nice, healthy lifestyle as well. So make sure to smash that like button so we can get this video to more people. Help those hard gainers out. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. I really want to make round two, dude. Yeah, if they don't like two. it, I'll probably cry. No, three, 300 likes, and we will make another They got one. it. They'll get 500, dude. Mm -hmm. Let's see it. Let's see it. Three. Yo, so uh, me and Kyle have very limited time together, and we do like a million things, as you guys know. So I'm like, bro, we have 45 minutes to film this video and it needs to be perfect. So we, we just finished that last clip. My Apple Watch started vibrating, timer done. <laughs> Good timing. All right, let's go now. Today we're making a video on if you should bulk, cut, really shred down or what circumstance you should do, if you should do a fault, we're gonna go through it in detail. And what a better way than to go out on a bike ride